Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today is going to be a really important video for showing you guys how you get your speed up for ships. Ships has been more important lately. I actually enjoy it a lot more than regular squad arena. It's uh, been kind of dry. And in today's video, we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about some channel updates that are going to happen. You guys are going to see on my channel specifically for the next six months to forever. So with that, let's jump right into what this video is all about. So Ships have grown really important. The Chimera is important. Everything's awesome about the Chimera. I've run, I've used it a lot, and I love it, and I hope you guys love it too. Uh, if you have it, if you don't, work towards it because it's definitely awesome for territory battles, especially Dark Side, and it's just a great ship. It's the most fun, and I, I just love it. So with ships being more important, though, you need to know how fast your ships are in comparison to your competition. So there's a lot of different ways that this works. And the big one is mods and ability level and gear and everything that relates to your crew members. So the easiest way to find your crew members is to go to your character selection and confirm the crew member. Uh, there's a lot of crew members and um, there needs to be a lot more. I, I love ships. Like I said, I feel like there should be more ships than I think like 24. So that's kind of lacking right now. Uh, but... The gear level is important, and we're all going to see how that determines how fast this ship get is. So um, with that, we're going to jump right over to crouchingrancor.com. Now, if you want to search it up, you just go like crouching rancor speed, uh, something like that, and then it should pop up speed calculator, first one, and then you just follow the steps. Uh, and then you type in, I mean, it's, it's very, it's very self-explanatory. I mean, you can just look up any ship and, uh, I'm going to skip that. Okay, so let's put in a, ooh, let's put in good old clone sergeant. Um, I have him at one star, maybe two, level 84. Now, if you look right here, that's really important for noticing the, like how the level and how everything determines how fast this ship is. So if we have level 16, it goes down a lot. If our gear level is 5, it goes down like 20 speed. Gear pieces equipped 0. Ability levels. So you can tell already that even if you have five or 6 5 star mods at level 15, it, the speed is so much lower because of the gear level. So the gear level is really important. Let's look at a... Um, Let's look at the good old first order TIE pilot. So I have him at seven stars, gear eleven. Uh, I've got, I think, two pieces to equip, maybe one. But look how fast this sucker is. So if we have five, then that puts him at 181 uh, speed. Let's put him at gear 12. That adds four speed. So you guys see the gear is really important for ships. I would highly recommend gearing up pilots if you can. There are some exceptions. Like I really want to gear up Gauntlet Starfighter. I love that ship. I think it's awesome. But what stinks about it is that it's like a lot of pain to farm Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando from the Cantina store. And so I'm really struggling with that and just like basically deciding if I want to spend 16 energy a day, you know, three refreshes just to get a decent ship. Uh, Gar Saxon's fine. I haven't used him in Dark Side Territory Battles because I just haven't farmed him that much yet. So, but he would have a good lead with the counterattacks, I'll admit. But as you guys can see, I mean, the ability level is mediocre even I mean it does a little bit the Zetas add a lot of weight but but the big the big daddy is the gear level if you can get the gear level up in the star level uh, in the training level I would argue those three are the most important the mods I mean we can take a look at how they would affect it let's say we have a I mean the mods decently affected but if you don't have six five star mods on one character then it only takes it down like four speeds. So you're not missing as much if you can't afford to put those five or six five star mods on those ships. You're not going to miss much. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be in the world. You're going to do fine in ships. Uh, my big recommendation for ships though is strategy. I mean, you basically have got to be running the Chimera at this point. If you're not running the Chimera, run a uh, good old Grand Moff Tarkin because he's awesome. And you guys are going to see, I'm just going to auto this guy because. I don't really have to try against the Grand Moff Tarkin teams. The only teams I have to try against are, are the Thrawn teams, and that's just the way it goes. So uh, that wraps it up for the ship part, just explaining how the ships work. Be sure to check it out if you're curious, because it's kind of cool to see the calculator do it. Crouching Rancor has been a really, 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 really good site. 
uh, for just basic stuff like that. So my thoughts on it. So sorry, we're dumping into this battle right now, and we're we're cruising. I'm not even. I didn't even touch anything. I just let it go. Um, I could take it off the who to select, but I don't really want to. I'm gonna be honest. But okay, so let's talk about the channel a little bit. Um, I'm being 100% honest here. I'm I'm like trying to be 100% honest at least. Uh, I've slightly grown disinterest in some parts of the game, um, specifically squad arena. My rank in squad arena is is atrociously bad. Um, it's like in the hundreds or so. I do my two battles a day. I do like four battles of ships because I like it a lot. I'm not trying to hate on the game. If you enjoy this game a lot, like go, f you know, you do you because it's fun and uh, I enjoy it. But there, it's, there's definitely a burnout I'm feeling right now. Uh, the gear 12, gear 11, gear 10 crunch is unbelievable. There's too many stun guns that are not available to get. The shard shop is not an adequate place to farm gear. I'm not really enjoying that. There's too many characters to farm out of the guild event store for me to put aside gear for it. I, I have to farm Hermit Yoda. I'm too afraid of that Luke Skywalker Hero's Journey Part 2 event coming back. And then, you know, Return of the Jedi Luke comes back and, and then you're not ready for him. So, um, I'm not really sure what to think right now. Um, I love, I've been loving territory battles. I've been loving territory wars lately. I don't know why. I just love, I just love seeing improvement and territory wars and territory battles is a beautiful way to see if your squad's getting better, how your depth is doing, uh, basic things like that, combat mission waves completed, special mission waves even achieved or beaten or whatever. Uh, it's exciting. So I do love that, but, but for the most part, guys, it's just been very dull, um, very dull, very very stale. Uh, the character release cadence has got to be a little bit more fast. The game, they're they're hindering my progress, I feel like, in the game. The devs, I know they want us to keep on playing, and I want to keep on playing forever, but you can't hold me back. You know, you can't hold us back. We're, we're, all, we're all trying to achieve the same goal here. We're all trying to be the best we can be, uh, and it, it really shouldn't be determined by a six-month event that randomly occurs and then just goes away for a long time. I mean, I, I'm not saying I really want Jedi training right anymore because I can't really gear her up at the moment. But, but in the future, um, there's just got to be a better way to get this gear. I need gear for Empire. I need gear for all these fun teams, and I really want to make them. But by the time I make them, they're not going to be good. And by the time I make them, um, there's they're, yeah, they're just not going to be relevant at all. So that's the part I'm really struggling with. So. A couple changes I'm going to make to the channel. First of all, I'm going to stop doing the meta arena videos. Though they do get a lot of support, I really i am appreciative of the support, so thank you. But uh, it's just not that helpful to you guys, and, and I'm going to be honest, it's kind of repetitive. So I don't want to do that to you guys. Uh, you guys deserve a little bit better, and I'm going to make sure that it's better. Another thing is I'm not going to spend much time like releasing videos that like just tell you what's going on like unless it's like really important if I'm excited about it I'm going to make a video about it that's like my guarantee but lately I've just been really busy with school really busy with tennis I just cannot make Galaxy Furious video for stuff I'm not like super passionate about right now so uh, if I'm actually making a video about something it's because I'm really passionate because I want to see some really cool stuff happen that's why when like the Game Changers release all this uh, Sith stuff they're just, I'm going to be on it, because I love the Sith, I love Kator, um, and basic stuff like that, and also, if you haven't played it, just, there should be somewhere on the computer, you can, like, look it up and, and download it and play it for fun, it's a fun game, guys, so is Jedi Academy, um, lots of good stuff, but, sidetracked, anyway, my, my point is that, uh, I'm just, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm trying to make the most of it, I'm trying to edit well, I'm trying to make this look good, it's actually, this whole new way of recording is working beautifully, so, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. If you like what I'm doing with the channel, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Join my Discord server um, and check me out on Twitter for more updates because I'm going to be constantly on there, at least as much as I can. Um, but Discord's where it's at, guys. If you haven't joined my Discord server, links uh, links down there. Um, and that's really important for just knowing what's going on because my life's a little chaotic. Uh, with that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.